I have officially arrived back in Scotland from my travel to the Gran Canary Islands in Spain, and I am officially under quarantine. I figured that I would film kind of my experience that with this. My mood and spirits are still good. It is a sunny day outside, so it's got me thinking about going outside, but of course I cannot. I think the thing that's helping me is I have a lot of work that needs to be done on the computer, and usually that's done indoors anyway. Fourth day of quarantine, I actually got wrapped up so much in work, I missed yesterday filming. It's got me reflecting, I think this whole thing is kind of silly that I... Bear with me on this. The quarantine is silly, not in its principle. I think that's a great idea to have people going other places to self-quarantine for 14 days. I think that's extremely important and medically proper to do. My issue is this, that here in the United Kingdom and other places, people with medical conditions can go online and print out a card that say they don't want to wear a mask. Now, what I get is some people do have legitimate medical issues where they can't wear a mask, maybe a facial deformity, maybe some other extreme thing. But I think in most cases, there is very limited medical issue that would prevent somebody from wearing a face mask. And here in the UK, somebody can just go online, print a card off that says they don't need one. And this is my issue. There is no documentation required. There is no medical verification required. There is no doctor required to overlook this. So basically, anybody who feels like it can go online and print off this card and justify any kind of medical reason. Again, there are certainly people who do have them, but I think there's far more who don't and can just go online without any repercussions, printing one off, and without any system of checks and balances for that. And meanwhile, I'm staying in here for 14 days, not allowed to leave the house. Does anybody else see something incredibly wrong with that? Still doing okay. Part of it is because I've had so much work to just get caught up on. But the only bad thing is not being able to get out. My back is taking on the shape of the chair that I'm sitting in. And it's a little difficult to get any kind of exercise. But other than that, mentally, physically still doing all right. I just woke up. Wasn't able to sleep well at all, but I don't think that has anything to do with me being self-quarantined and locked indoors. But I will say, you know, I think my body is saying, hey, come on, get up and go out and do something, get some exercise. The only problem I have is that it's such a small apartment, it's incredibly difficult to do that because if I start doing exercise and sweating, one room will smell terribly. The best I can do, and maybe I'll do that in a little bit, is walk out into the garden a little bit and maybe walk around the house. But that's kind of, you know, drive me nuts. I don't really have any exercise equipment, at least here. Things are going good, but my body's definitely sending me signals that I should be doing something. It is day seven, halfway through, which is fantastic. In one week, I can go out and about without the self-quarantine. With all the work I've been doing, it's important to have some fun, too, because you're caught up indoors, so playing video games. The hardest part about this self-quarantine right now is that the wife is getting sick. Confining myself to one room and socially distancing, but that's got to be the hardest thing when your wife is sick and you just want to, you know, put your hand on her forehead, take her temperature, or help her, and you have to stay away. Now, her sickness is unrelated to anything I have. I think it's actually an ear infection, but... It's so difficult to just watch your wife having a, a very hard time and you can't do anything about it. I can't go to the pharmacy for her. I can't pick her up groceries and help her because I'm confined indoors unless it's a real, real emergency, which I don't deem this as. But besides that, um, body-wise, my body still feels like just in a slump. It, it feels really like fatty and just like need to get out and do anything. I think this could be avoided if I had a bigger house and some decent exercise equipment or a backyard where I could work out, but I don't have that. I'm running out of places to film in the house, but mentally feeling good and uh, yeah, just still craving exercise. You really start to see how small the apartment is. Basically, I have kind of the left side and the wife has the right-hand side. So it's weird trying to work 
with such a small area, trying to keep both of us separate for health reasons. But I guess we're, we're, we're doing the best we can. I figured after yesterday talking about how small the apartment is and how complicated it is, dividing everything in half, I figured I'd just show you. Things are a little bit of a mess, but this is the main bedroom where I'm sleeping on basically the right side of the house. So I'm in here. We share the bathroom because, well, you have to. There's a small little hallway that I've walked through, and now we're in the left side of the house where the wife is. And the wife has been posted up on the couch. Uh, when we have meals, we try and sit as far away from each other as we can. And then, of course, we also have to kind of share the kitchen. But um, that's it. That was the house. And at no point do we come within, like, two or three feet of each other inside still but fortunately today is outside a very you know rainy kind of day so it's not that bad but i'm just admiring all the, the books that my wife has and i'm thinking about reading something anything but i never realized we have a thousand and one movies that's a pretty good one to check out we've got how to make craft beer vegan cooking there was one in here that was like every person reads. I don't know how she got it. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Maybe I, maybe I could check that. That's supposed to be some super, super bestseller. And then, of course, if I want, I can go back and I can do the embarrassing book of dad jokes. How does an Eskimo build his house? He glues it together. Boo. Oh. That's some, that's some clever writing right there. All right, so today we are going to go on an adventure. Uh, not too big of an adventure because I am homebound, but I'm gonna check out the back garden, which I haven't really checked out in all the time that I've been here. And figures I save it to the last like week of my lockdown to get out here. Uh, but the weather was kind of iffy some days. I think the most interesting thing is that I am down to one full day and a few hours left. At 6 p.m. tomorrow, I will be done with the whole quarantine lockdown from my returning from the Grand Canary Islands. But I'm also gonna say back here, it's a lot larger, a lot larger than I thought it was. That's a dead end, but I only see a small sliver of this going down by the apartment and what I can see out the window and it, goes a fair distance. Goes all the way back here to all the way down there. And my apartment's down there. So this is really new to me. It's quite nice back here. I just never knew it was so large. So this is a strange adventure for, for what it's worth. It actually hooks around the corner up here too. I didn't even know it did that. So I guess my apartment is down here. Yeah, there we go. So Pretty much this is all I can normally see from the apartment. And I didn't know the backyard garden was so extensive as it is. I did not even know we have a little bench here. But to reflect on this whole COVID-19 travel quarantine lockdown, it was an interesting experience because we tried to book our travel to a place where we wouldn't have to quarantine lockdown, but then COVID rates soared back up and we had to do it again. So Spain was on the list and the Grand Canaries were also on the list, but it has been interesting. And overall, my mental health and well-being, my body is still just kind of craving getting out and doing all sorts of exercise. That could have been mitigated if I had, you know, another room in the house that we could make into an exercise room, but it is what it is. And, I just realized it'll be nice to actually get out and go for a run uh, like 36 hours from now or whatever it is. Mentally, mentally I'm all right. This was actually probably one of the best times for me to have it because I actually had a big work project that I had to work on and that kept me very occupied. Came through it all right. I can't wait to be able to go out. Coffee, going out for a coffee, even though you still have to mask up and all that, that sounds like a good plan for tomorrow and uh, maybe going out to a, a restaurant uh, I still want to kind of keep distant from restaurants because that, that's where people are and I want to avoid that. But 
I've been inside for two weeks. I got I got to grant myself just just a little something. And I guess the bad thing is now I'll have to do the grocery shopping. Uh, the wife was very kind to help me out and do all the grocery shopping for then, uh, and take out the recycles and trash. Uh, so I'm back on that duty soon. Just woke up. It's my last day of quarantine. I can finally go outside today.